Summer at One Kids. This summer, the title of our series is Champions Like Jesus. You know how we say here that we want to be just like Him? Well, together we are going to take challenges on that are going to help us run faster after Jesus and become stronger just like Him. So, if you're ready for a challenge, get your running shoes and get ready for the best summer of your life. Hi One Kids, remember me? I'm Andy and every week I'll have a challenge for you. Ready for the first one? This one is called the 30 second hop on one foot challenge. So grab your mom or your dad or your siblings or your grandparents, whoever you live with, and have them set a 30 second timer. Once you get them ready, jump as many times as you can and have them take a picture of you while you do it. With the picture, post it on our One Kids Facebook page and then you'll get the chance to enter to win a prize. Oof, I love prizes. So let the games begin. Hey, One Kids. We are so glad you are all here with us. This is my friend, Andy. And this is my friend, Ava. We know that this is going to be the best hour of your week. But first things first, if you've been with us before, you know that we have four values that we believe are very important. Ava, do you remember the first one? Yes. Yeah. The first one is to love God. We love God by showing Him our undivided attention. We also love God by worshiping Him with our voices and with all of our hearts. And second, love people. We love people because God loves people and we want to be just like Him. One Kids, do you remember the third one? If you do, say it really loud with us. Yes, that's right. Do your best. Do your best in everything you do, and God will take care of the rest. And last but not least, have fun. We want this to be the best hour of your week. So have fun because God gives us so much joy. Speaking of fun, let's have fun as we get ready to worship God together. Am I living it? Do I live in it? So astounding Love is an ocean, you can drown me The sweet embrace, the lovely taste I taste and see I'm under grace, the place to be It means I'll never need an umbrella I'm cool in the cold, in the hot weather Whether or never I ever 
Understand I'm a man in the hands of great plans I stand with faith down in life I never known a touch and still I saw my clutch But I'm like, what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's the die for? Live to no end, this is living The life I've been given is a gift If I'm a living, I'm a living to death So what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's the die for? And live to no end, this is living The life I've been given is a gift If I'm a living, I'm a living to death verse for this month? The first time, we're going to say it and you listen. The second time, we're going to say it and you repeat after us. The third time, we're going to say it all together. Are you ready? I, I press, press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, God through Jesus, Jesus, is calling us. Philippians 3, 14. Great job, One Kids. 
Now we're gonna say it and you repeat after us. Are you ready? I, I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Jesus, is calling us. Philippians 3, 14. Great job. Now we're gonna say it all together. Are you ready? I, I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Jesus, is calling us. Philippians 3, 14. Great job, One Kids. Hey, One Kids. This summer, we're in a series called Champions Like Jesus. And in this series, we take on challenges that will help us become just like Him. Today, our first challenge is the Lordship Challenge. And you must be saying, what in the world does that even mean? Lordship means that we give everything we have to Him and that we obey God even when it's hard and scary. Remember David? We talked about him. He gave control of his life to God and he obeyed Him even when it was hard and scary. Remember the sheep? He took care of his dad's sheep. I'm sure that was a very hard job. And remember the giant? He killed a giant. I know that was such a scary time, but because he trusted God, look at this, he became king over all the people. How awesome is to know that when you trust God, you can do all things. Now, let's talk about the greatest champion of them all. His name is Jesus. You're right, the greatest champion of them all. He, even as a young kid, obeyed God. He obeyed his parents. He did everything they wanted him to do. And as he got older, even when people were so mean to him, he still loved them so much. He obeyed God and trusted God even to the point where he gave his own life for you and for me. And because of that, he is the greatest champion of them all. Now, I want to challenge you one, kids. Make Jesus the Lord of your life. Always give Him everything that you have. And number two, obey Him and trust Him even when things are hard and scary. He's always going to help you do the right thing. I want to challenge you today, one, kids, to make Jesus the Lord of your life. There's two things I want you to remember. Number one, give Him everything everything you life. Give Him control of your life. Number two, obey Him even when it's hard. Stand up for what is right even when others don't. Stand up for the truth even when it's the hardest thing you do. I'm going to pray for you before we close. God, we thank you for your love. And right now, we ask you to be the Lord of our lives. We give you everything we have. And we ask that you help us obey you and stand up for what is right, even when it's hard. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. What a great lesson. This has been such a fun Sunday. Now kids, remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the little bell icon so you can get a notification whenever we post, follow us on Facebook, and post a picture for us to see you guys worshiping together. Have a great day. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.